got some big logs lying around and wonder if your old 8 in is enough tractor to skid them? I've wondered that, and now I know the answer. There is a size limit that an old 25 horse tractor like this can skid, and there's a couple different ways to do it. I've been toting logs over here to the sawmill from the castle site that we're getting prepped and ready. We cleared about an acre of oak trees, and that's about 50 oak trees maybe. We cut them all down with our electric cobalt chainsaw, battery powered chainsaw. And now I need to chop those trunks up into nine, 10 foot sections and drag them up here. We're using our three point boom lift and a skidding hook. You don't have to use the boom lift. You don't have to use a skidding hook. You can just put a toe strap or a chain off the back end, off the lower lengths, and you could, you could pull a log. Um, but I do like to be able to pick up on one end because it allows you to reposition. Because what you're going to see is if you put too much weight on the back of this thing, you're just going to stand the tractor up. And if you if you own one of these, you know what I'm talking about. So being able to lift up on one end and then reverse will allow you to kind of steer the log and let you get another shot at it. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you some logs I've moved and show you some logs that I haven't been able to move. And we'll go ahead and tug on some and show you what that looks like. So here's a little glimpse at the plot we cleared. It's behind these three trees here. It's all... And it's kind of hard to tell. It used to be thick like this. I mean, you couldn't walk through it. And if you could, the ticks would kill you before you got out. So here's an example of three of the logs we pulled out. Those are all 10 foot long. You can see those are all three oak, I believe. The one on the far right there is about, oh, 14 to 16 inches in diameter. If you don't know, there's a site that you can visit green log weight charts and calculator and it will show you oh ads why what is with the gal dang ads it shows you based on species of tree length and diameter what the weight is so you can see here oak we actually have black this is blackjack we call it so i don't know what oak california black means but we'll go off that 14 inches, so it's that fourth column. Uh, 70 pounds per foot. So, that's 10 foot long. 700 pounds. Pulls that pretty good, so... Yeah, if you guys need to ever reference that, just Google it. You don't need me to tell you where it's at. I'm touching that phone to focus it. I'm sorry. I'm a mess. Hey, check that out. You think our grandparents ever thought 70 years ago that we'd use the bumpers on these old 8 ends for tripod mounts for interweb videos? How wild is that? All right, let's go find a log to pull. It's raining. And it's beautiful out. This is odd. Here's some more of the logs we pulled in. These are all 8 to 10 foot. Some of these are closer to the 8 foot side. Mostly oak. There's that... Uh, I don't know what, what that is. It's obviously got a different uh, bark. And it's a little longer as well. So They're all going to be in the 5 they're a little smaller diameter 500 to 700 pound range can you see the rain I guess we're gonna work in the rain and Sun whatever all right so we're at our next log and to give you guys an idea if you laughed earlier when I said that I cut these down with my battery powered cobalt, I want you to see what that damn thing can do. 
this ow those are sharp what in the hell okay i want you to see how big of a tree we cut through that's my boot at the size 12 so uh that's a big tree we cut through with the 14 inch cobalt now i'm standing on the trunk here so i'm guessing it's at least this direction that's got to be 20 inch diameter maybe 16 14 inch that way every bit of 10 foot long here so i've got two more i gotta get out of here this one i'm standing on and then this one i'm gonna get on that one next it's uh it's right at nine feet long kind of similar to the other one probably 700 pounds one of the reasons i like to use this uh this boom and the hooks versus a chain is that if i'm crafty i can hook onto these without ever giving up getting off the tractor so if you're working by yourself once you get the hang of of grabbing these it's actually possible to just back up lower the boom snag your log and take off with it and then once you get to your destination you can use the reverse to kind of back these logs in where you want them and drop them off without ever getting off the tractor so it's a huge time saver it takes a little bit of getting used to and i still haven't mastered it yet uh, but if you don't have a second hand to uh, to get you hooked up, and if you don't like getting off the tractor a hundred times, then it's helpful. You can see that was also a rather large tree that we cut. We got a bunch of them through here. Getting her ready. All right, let's see if we can grab onto it. It's like they designed this bumper for the tripod. Look at that. Thank you, Ford. Whoever put that bumper on. So that was a pretty poor display of getting that log lined up with these other ones like I had earlier. Um, but what you can see is how you can use that boom and that uh, skidding hook to kind of lift and maneuver it in a, into position or whatever position you want. If I had cut it a little sooner, I could have laid it right up against these other logs. And as you saw, I was able to let go of the log without ever getting off the tractor. So. That is ideal. So that was pretty heavy. I don't know if you noticed the wheels came up off the ground just a little bit. When that happens, the the boom allows you to lower it, back up, lift it, get in a better position, then hit it again at a different angle. So that's kind of how you steer when your front wheels aren't on the ground. So 
That one was about 700 pounds. The next one is even longer and even bigger. I'm guessing close to a thousand pounds. I don't know if this tractor is going to pull it, but we will try. This is a big log. The skidding hooks wouldn't actually go around the whole trunk. So I've kind of got it at the end of it right after it's split and it's still barely grabbed. So I don't know if it'll get it. Like I said, est rough estimate is this is about a thousand pounds. We will see. We found one it would pull. We found one it wouldn't pull. Granted, this might not be a tractor problem. I think that skidding hook, it's just tearing that bark right off. If I were to wrap a chain around that thing, I could probably pull it. But being at this downward incline, I probably gonna have to do something else. Uh, because I know it's already pushing the limits of what this thing can pull. I've got another big log that I just moved the other day that really gave me a run for my money but I ended up getting it moved so we're gonna hook on to that one so you can kind of see what's realistic what's not realistic and what's kind of the limit for uh, what you can hope to pull with one of these things with this specific setup Sucker's big. It's actually as big as the other one, but it's a little shorter. Um, I'm not actually going to move it all the way up to the sawmill just yet. We've got a bunch of brush that's in the way, so I just kind of demonstration that it can pull that. This thing is big. Let me show you. pretty good size like I said we don't have a real good path back up to the sawmill from here so we've just been stacking them on the edge of the property I do have a couple logs I showed you earlier that I think will be good candidates to pull up to the sawmill so we'll hook on to one of those and uh, get her drug up and kind of see start to finish what the process looks like since those trees were felled on the other side of the, of the pile and that'll be it.
pretty much it. That's how you get big logs from your castle site to your sawmill. At least one way.